G'day guys, this year bubbly host H2O Queen. I hope my dream stream family and viewers are well. I stream on Twitch if you guys would like to go in the description below to find out my times but I do stream every Monday, Friday and Sunday if you guys would just like to come on hang out with me in my awesome community. I'm pretty positive and chill if you guys enjoy that. Uh, so back when Pokemon Duel was fully established and it was in control by the company Haroz, the developers, uh, there was an awesome creator known as Cuba underscore T. Now most of you guys probably haven't heard of him if you guys have just started playing Pokemon Duel as of this year. Now starting content creating back in 2017, um, a lot of people started getting inspired with ideas on how to um, create their own figures or imagine what Haroz might release in the next banner. So I'm just going to quickly just show you who this person is and about my exciting project that I have been uh, working with uh, Devani. So shh, let's go check it out. Okay, so we're, well, I'm probably familiar to you guys, but we are on Reddit. So this is Cuba T up here um, one year ago that they posted. Um, so they are the developers for a website called Pokemon Duel Database. Now what that essentially did is it allowed you to customize and make your own wheels to the algorithm that was 96%. Um, so that was what the configuration of wheels were. So you could create any wheel that you desired, whether it have uh, both white, gold, purple and blue if you so desired it to be. Uh, people got creative and imagined what it would be like if these new figures were released on the banner or if a figure was announced what their wheel might be and it was a really good creative outlet that us content creators had to be able to do um, imaginary wheels and be able to talk about that with our community and that's something we can no longer really do. However, it's really fun being able to create our own wheels and just discuss what it could have been like. And this is something I would like to be able to do. So this is where Devani comes into it. So Devani, I went and approached Devani back on the 7th of October and I went and messaged him. And he said, I said to him, I wanted to recreate um, the original uh, Jewel.D website. So this is what the original website looked like. So that was my image of uh, Mallow Tech. And this is what I imagine the wheel to be based upon on what the original Pokemon figure was from the, you know, the attacks that they actually used. And I mean, I had the purple star crash, but I, I did have some other elements there and not so much. But this was the fun part. We got to guess on what these figures look like and what they could be and this is something that I really wanted to recreate again with Devani. So uh, we went through a whole series of like conversations and stuff. I actually helped, um, so I was actually even showing Devani uh, who Kubuti was because I know a lot of people did hear of him. So um, yeah, we had an awesome conversation. I got to walk through some um, coding as well so that was really awesome and what is really good is that Devani needed extra credits at school. At the time I approached him literally credits uh, were required so Devani could actually now work on this for school. So this was the original concept that Devani did have when it started off and I was really amazed and as you can see the amount of work and progress that Devani has gone through including um, being able to create a second layer um, so you can include more data in it, which is just absolutely phenomenal. I'm hoping, so we've even had phone conversations regarding this and we've been talking it all the way through. And what I'm going to do now is that Devani has shared me a video, which I know now is for public release. However, I will just show it to you guys because I'm really excited and I think this is quite amazing. Okay, so this is Devani at the moment. So what he's inputting is, is that the green indicates the collecting data of what it does adding towards the percentage, which is 96 for an average wheel. So um, Devani is able to successfully put in the name of uh, the attack, uh, including the size. So the sizes are all calculated so that way um, you don't go over it. And then we've also got like damage, 
the description and what the Pokemon's about. So as you can actually see here, the wheel is actually collating data and I think Devani is at the moment, I don't know if he's been successful, but it should give you a message if you've gone over the 96% and say, oh, you'll need to configure the wheel if it doesn't work for you. But yeah, it's really amazing and I love what Devani has done so far. I am hoping we might get little minute details such as the wheel type, uh, such as a figure type if it's a common UC, EX, UX and so forth. So I'm hoping we get to see that too. Um, but yeah, it's a really nifty and nice touch and I'm looking forward um, to seeing um, Devani's results and this is going to be a really nice creative way that I can interact with you guys again and we can start creating our own wheels. So going back to my conversation with QBT, so now you guys know what he actually created and what the creator database did um, and also what Devani is working on. So I've reached out to Cuba back on what was it? The 9th or something like that of October? And I uh, said to Cuba, so Pokemon Duel has returned. If you read this message, can you let me know if the original website is still in existence? I would love to see your website up and running again so we can start recreating wheels. Looking forward to your reply. Thank you. And Cuba T replied just a few days ago. And he said, hey, hi, we'll see when we have a full version. So this is really, really exciting news to me. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with regard to the Pokemon Jewels or being at uh, Wheels and being able to recreate or imagine your own, now you guys are informed and do know. So I really love the website. Um that was developed by QBT. Um, you guys will see up here. I'll put up uh, a little eye icon. I will also feature the end of my video. I created an epic Pokemon figure analysis guide. It was at least a hundred plus hours worth of work. I'll probably have to go back through the depths of my um, Google document and actually see how many hours I invested into it. But it was a lot of hard sweat and labor and I went above and beyond what the normal things would be. I've since given my document to Shutterbug. Apparently it has helped him to be able to code or redistribute the wheels in a certain way. So I'm so, so grateful that my Pokemon figure analysis guide has had some purpose because I know not a lot of people in my community do personally use it. However, I really needed that guide for myself because uh, sometimes I would get struggled or being able to use things on an, an analytical viewpoint, I could go back through and see how the data correlated uh, back also into Pokemon Duel. And it was really good for myself too when I created my own YouTube videos. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and to please smash the subscribe bell. It really, really does help, guys. I'm onwards and upwards towards 500 subscribers and I want to keep smashing that goal. I'm really sincere. I want to get to one hey subscribers really really soon whenever I can I want to be able to have community interaction with you guys and do polls and be able to find out what you guys want because I know sometimes being able to get into the YouTube and just see the main page and just see my name and connect to me is much easier rather than going through my whole YouTube channel to comment on my videos and leave your feedback. So that really means a lot to me to start to get to know you guys on a personal level and being able to actually interact with everyone that is part of my community. So again, I hope this video was enlightening and I'm excited to see uh, what is going to be happening um, with regards to moving forward. Uh, Devani does have a YouTube channel. So I will go and put in Devani's YouTube channel up here. So see the eye icon and go ahead and click on that and go and give him a support. I'm so, so grateful that Devani was able to do this. It really excites me. And now I'm wondering as a community what we can create together. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys design. Let me know in the comments below, what would you guys like to design as your first Pokemon Jewel figure when it gets released? This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen over and out. Peace, love, light, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the day. Take care guys and take care.